What's up everybody, I'm Tyler Capella and welcome to the Waterman's Way. This is Jigging in the Gulf Part 2. Now we left off in part one, 90 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico where I had just released Ryan's kingfish. But our buddy Kevin has something gigantic on there, ate his fish on the way up. We have no idea what it is, but he's about to land it. So stay tuned. We got some crazy action coming at you. 13 species on a jig, so you don't want to miss this one. Let's dive in and see what happens. Oh, it's a big AJ. He ate your grouper. Golly, look at that thing. Huge amber jack. Huge amberjack ate his red grouper. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. Look at that. Good lord. That's a giant right there. That is a giant. Yeah. He ate that little red grouper on the way in. Amberjack eating a grouper. I've never seen that, man. And that's a that's mule. A, that's a hefty one. That is a mule right there. Excellent. That is awesome. Great job. Man, that's a big one. Mega. Mega amberjack. When the AJs are eating red grouper, you know there they're pretty big. Yeah, that was oh. good. Hey, <laughs> that was fun. That was. That was great. <laughs> Man, that's a hell of a fish. Woo. Owie. <laughs> well, if you've been counting, that's six species so far with that insane amberjack. But one of the main species we've been targeting had not shown up yet until now. I think it's a little bit nicer grouper here. Nice. Nothing crazy. Good fish. Could it be? Could it be yeah, the deal? Yes, nice sir. Snap. Yes, sir. Good deal. Let's go. That's a nice one, huh? Yeah, that's what we wanted. Right yeah, here. these are one of my favorite eating fish out here. I mean, that's a really nice one. He crushed, yeah, yeah. crushed that jig. That is awesome, He's dude. He's doing the deal. Great yes, fish, sir. Man. All Let's right. Go. That's, that's a good, Ooh. good fish right there. Awesome. Good job, dude. Yes, Thanks, sir. Man. He's going in the box. Yes, sir. Scamper is such a good fish to eat, and that's really what everybody on the boat wanted. So I was stoked about that one. On the okay. next drop, I got an even bigger here? one. Let's go! Awesome fish, brother. There you yeah, go. Big Daddy Scamp. That's what you want right there. Good deal. That is exactly what you want. Good job, man. It turns out that scamp was almost eight pounds. That is my biggest scamp ever, a personal best. I was super stoked to put that one in the boat for sure. Well, after putting a few nice scamp in the box, we had a bit of a jack attack. I'm talking amber jack. Not what we were going That's for. That's the AJ. If you've ever caught them before, you know they fight extremely hard and it can be tough yeah. to get past them. But we also caught a different type of jack that was such a surprise. So check it out. I caught my old friend, the Jack Creval. But look at the depth. 200 and something feet of water. That is the deepest I've ever caught a Jack Creval before. He's supposed to be on the flats. Why the heck is he way out here? Meanwhile, Kevin has been back there fishing with bait all day, just trying to get one gag grouper, and he finally gets a good bite. All right, well, Ryan and I have been crushing the fish on the jigs all day, but the live bait man finally stuck one. Now it's such a live bait. Finally <laughs> stuck one with the bait. Finally. We've been, jig guys we've been, have been killing it. <laughs> We've got a big fish in here. I'm thinking gag all the way, but I've been wrong before. Be the right one. I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking snapper now. <laughs> Big one. Sheesh. That is a large American red right there. Sheesh. Sheesh. It turns out it was a massive red snapper, possibly the biggest I've ever seen. I mean, it was a giant, beautiful looking fish. They're great eating, but they're also out of season this time of year. Heavily regulated species that have to be safely released. Oh, 22. 22. 22. Man, oh man, that is a huge red snapper, dude. Wow. See you, baby. Good job. Live baiters. Coming through. Yeah, what's going on? Right now. They, they did. I think they felt sorry for the scrap. I know, I know. Okay. That was a hell of a red snapper there. Everybody to catch fish. <laughs> and this jig bite is just so fun. It you know, is, dude. you stay on the bottom, you get down faster. you are always got a lively bait on there. And he hooks a big fish. He's got, he's got a nice one. I just caught a nice king. This is probably the I think this is the biggest one you've hooked all day? Yeah, it is. And this one put me in the rocks. It's like a very good tip or something to do is if you get rocked, don't just sit there and pull against that fish. Uh, put your reel in free spool. Go get some cookies like I like to do. Get a water. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, they'll come out. You know, yeah. and that, this, that's what this one did. This is a this is a toad right here. Nice fish. Yeah. I think even if I side hook this and it's still so heavy that it's yeah. a big one. 
Be the one. Oh, I see him down there. Oh, come on. That's the one. Yeah, 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 bro. Good job. Been working hard for that one. There we go. Yeah, Woo. There you go man. Oh. Nice work, man. Oh. On the jig. We've just been doing nothing but throwing jigs. What have we caught? Kingfish, red grouper, scamp, gag yeah. grouper now, tuna, all yeah. kinds. Almaco, you name it. Sir, look at that big gag, man. That's awesome. Did he smoke it or what? Yeah, dude. Just crushed it. And then you can see he kind of got rocked up down there, but you just yeah. let him go slack and he swam right out. That's awesome. Good job, brother. Awesome stuff. And Ryan pulls up this beautiful gag grouper. It's the other target species of scamp and gag, or really what we were going for out there. He's pumped, the boat's fired up, and from there we just started racking up the species. It might be a big red snapper, but it's one of the biggest fish that I've hooked all day. Just like, oh, See, dude, look at the size of that. Look at the, I've, dude, look how big that freaking trigger fish is. Are you, look how big this trigger is. Learn that. Yeah, that's a giant. Whew. Well, you just never know what kind of fish you're gonna catch. Throwing the jig. I mean, dude, yeah. And there's another example. That's the biggest trigger fish I think I've ever seen. Same here. I by mean, far. By far, it's the biggest trigger I've ever seen. It's gotta be 20 something inches. That's crazy. Four inches if you measure the fish's tail. Beautiful fish, brother. Good job. All right, well, another one. All right. Woo, back down she goes. Good job. <laughs> Good. That's all right. So check this thing out. I've never even seen one of these before. He just caught a tile fish, a juvenile tile fish on this figure. I mean, fish. really colorful. We'll have to check that out because the juveniles are different than the adults, so yeah. I'm not even sure what species that is, to be honest. Like the species are getting weirder. Uh, getting like weirder. It. And on the next drop, I pull up another personal best. It's crazy. I just got smashed, spit it out, dropped it back down, and instantly got smashed again. It's one of the bigger fish I've hooked all day. No telling what it is. Hopefully, it's Big Daddy Gag. Let's see. What are you? What are you? Oh, that yeah. is a big, big red, red, big red grouper. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, the one that hit before that was even bigger. Yeah, it's a great fish to catch. Good fish, man. All right. That's a, yeah, that's a stud right there, dude. Right there, Good fish, man. All right. That's an awesome grouper. Yeah, man. He crushed it, dude. There were two of them after it. Yeah, that's that was a, the one that won. That's yeah, that's a nice fish. Yes, sir. Good job, man. Yeah, red grouper. Let's, let's go ahead and let him go. By this point, it's getting near the end of the day. We've only got a few drops left. Ryan drops down and gets a beautiful red snapper that we have to release. And then on the next drop, finally gets the other species that he was looking for. All right, well, he's been trying to catch a scamp all day. Dude, still and, with that one. Yeah, and that's that's eight scamp for the four of us here. The seal's the limit. We've got him in the 11th hour. Good that job. Works, dude. First scamp to seal, seal the limit. Ryan Scamp put us at the limit of two per person, so we were super pumped on that. That's gonna be some awesome dinner for us. We decided to make one more drop, and I hooked the most unexpected fish of the entire day. I couldn't believe it. Dude, check this out. <laughs> that is crazy. Pack. That was the last thing. That's like a freaking 10 pound 40. That, yeah, that is the craziest Unbelievable. thing. Unbelievable. I mean, I catch these things when I'm hog fishing, like, you know, one, two pounds maybe. This thing is probably close to 10 pounds. That is the biggest porgy I've ever seen in my life. Unbelievable. That is Dude. really crazy. I've had a day to day. <laughs> Between 11 and 12 pound yeah, porgy. I mean, he's huge. That's ridiculous. Good job, dude. What the heck? Yeah, I didn't even know crazy. they got this big. I'll have to see what the record is on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting that one. That was the biggest porgy I've ever seen by a mile. I mean, the biggest I've ever caught was probably like three pounds or something. Totally insane and a really fun way to end the day. Well, the sun is going down here. We had an awesome day throwing the jig all day. My arm's a little bit tired, yeah. but it was, I mean, we caught 13 species. 13 really species, like, like, I mean, I, we'll count them off, but it was nuts. Like everything that you can possibly catch basically out here, we caught it. Pretty wild stuff. My jig is just beat to hell. Same here. But this thing, this thing has been put through the ringer, but. There's three PBs on that one jig. Yeah, three personal bests on that one jig just today. It's been a hell of a day. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.
Well, that's it for deep digging in the Gulf of Mexico. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I had an awesome time out there with some great people. It was a great day. I'm so happy that I got to share it with you. Now, the Waterman's Way YouTube channel has some great stuff coming up. We're going to Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Puerto Rico, Cabo San Lucas, a bunch of different destinations. So stay tuned for that. And as always, like and subscribe if you like what you see. A lot more cool stuff on the way. So stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one.